पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ ए सिस्टम इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ए बाय आर स्क्वायर माइनस बी बाय आर वी नीड टू फाइंड द आर नॉट कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू द स्टडी इक्विलिब्रियम ओके एक्चुअली वी नीड टू फाइंड द इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन एंड देन एग्जामिन वेदर द पोजिशन इज स्टडी एंड द मैक्सिमम मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ अट्रैक्शन फोर्स देन वी नीड टू प्लॉट यू वर्सेस आर एंड फोर्स वर्सेस आर so we already know that if you plot u versus r so the maxima of that will be the unstable equilibrium position and minima of these curves will be the stable equilibrium so if you go towards right a bit or left a bit the system will try to get back into the lower most energy and here if you shift it a bit left or right it will just fall down to get into this energy or it will go to the left and the mathematically we can represent this as so at stable or steady equilibrium du by dr is zero the curve, the slope is zero and d2 u by dr square is greater than zero and for unstable equilibrium the du by dr is again zero but d2 u by dr square is less than zero so let's do du by dr which we will equate to zero to get the positions of maxima or minima so that happens at r not is equal to 2a by b so this is the definitely the position of equilibrium now stable or not that we will see from double differentiating it so we double, double differentiate this so we differentiate this again and that put put the value of 2a by b and we see that it is greater than 0 which means it's a stable equilibrium so it's a stable equilibrium and it occurs at r is equal to 2a by b now to for the find the maximum magnitude of attraction force so let's get a bit of more concepts clear before we attempt the solution forces are central if force can be written as a function of r into r cap so the direction of force must be towards center or away from center then the forces are central Now forces are central and attractive if if force at a certain point is some negative magnitude times r cap so like this then the force is attractive and towards the origin the forces are central and repulsive if those forces are some positive quantity into r cap like this now in ur graph the we know that force is negative of the slope so it is minus du by dr so let's say you have u versus r plot like this so let's take certain points and see what those points represent so first point where u is zero it is meaningless as potential energy is relative second point and fourth you can see du by dr is zero which means force is zero because force is minus du by dr now if force is zero that means the position is in equilibrium now is it stable or unstable that we can see so at point 2 you can see that the double differentiation is positive which means it's a stable equilibrium so you can see otherwise also as you increase the r the slope becomes positive so if the slope is positive the force is negative so if you go away the force is negative so force is going to pull back and if you move towards left so if you redu reduce the r then the slope is negative and if slope is negative then minus du by dr is positive which means the force is in plus r direction so it's going to return the object back into its equilibrium position that's why it is stable four is unstable for the same reasons we how we discussed here third is f max so you can see that before three the slope is a bit less so slope so let's talk about the magnitude of force first so it is uh, it is less it increases the slope increases here it reaches the maximum and then it again starts to decrease so the slope reaches its maximum at 3 so there the force is maximum 
is it attractive or repulsive so that again we can see from the slope so at 3 slope is positive so if slope is positive that means the force is negative and if force is negative the force is attractive like this and a position 5 so this is again the slope becomes maximum at this point so we are talking about local maximum forces not the overall maximum force so locally there is a maxima for force at 5 at point 5 and the force is repulsive so why it's repulsive see the slope is negative so slope is negative means the total force is positive and if force is positive that means it's of this form so it's away the force is away from the origin which means it is repulsive so we discussed all that because he had given these terms of attraction force so now i think we are pretty clear about how a central attractive force looks like why central force because you can see here that the potential energy is a function of r and let's get our second part now so where we need to find the maximum magnitude of this attractive force so u is given as a by r square minus p by r so f we can write as minus du by dr into r cap so i have not written r cap here because it's a overall anyway we know it's a radial function and a central force so actually let me write that so there is no confusion So this is the total force which is radial of course now force max because we need to find the maximum magnitude of attractive force so f max occurs when df by dr is zero so we do that and we see that happens at r is equal to 3a by b or infinity so let's neglect this for now we'll use this while plotting the graph otherwise r reaches either a maximum or a minimum at 3a by b so we put this value in the force to check more to get more information about the force so when we put that here we see that force at this particular value comes to be negative and if force is negative then force is attractive so what he has given here is, seems to be true and the magnitude of that is of course just modulus of this which is b cube by 27 a square now plotting the u will look like this and force will look like this and you can see again let's take two points so one is when du by dr is zero so when that happens that means force is zero and what can you comment about the equilibrium then so it is a stable equilibrium because it's at a bottom just like this and from force graph also you can see that if you move a bit towards right then you can see force becomes negative and if you move a bit towards left then force is positive so the forces will try to bring back the particle into its equilibrium positions now when the force df by dr becomes zero that is the value of the maxima of the force and you can little bit see here that here the slope is zero here also slope is zero so in between the the slope will be maximum and that happens here on this u r curve and on this curve also you can see that the slope is zero which means df by dr is zero which gives the maximum value of force